Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here with you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good middle of the night. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. It is wonderful to see you. And as you can see, I have some gorgeousness that I am going to be working with for a at least a couple of videos, maybe more than two. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I am working on Autumn Serenity. This is 49 Dragonflies. This is not her most recent set, but it's her Autumn set. And we are officially in fall, so I wanted to pay this homage. I love, 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 love this set. Oh, there's so much gorgeousness. And, and so let me show you real quickly. Um, and I will have the links below in my video for you to go to Barbara, 49 Dragonflies, her shop. as She has just amazing digitals. And I will have the links for you. And if you mention my code that I will have in the description box below this video, um, you will get 10% off your entire digital order, which is amazing. Okay, so I have already used a bunch of stuff, so I reprinted some to show you, but some I am just, you'll get an idea. So these are the background pages, and there are several. I don't remember. There's quite a few. Um, but <laughs> obviously, I am using one of those pieces. But let me just show you real quick. And this, I've taken the edge off. But look at these, you guys. Are these just phenomenal? I mean, <sighs> one gorgeous piece of art. And then another, here's another one that I have taken the, um, the, the background, taken the white off. These are, there's more, but this is what I have um, still. <laughs> let me set those aside and then let me show you these. I reprinted all of these, um, except I did take the background off this one. These are the collage sheets. Are they just, they're so fabulous. You can use these as a page by itself. And you know, if you're doing a, a document style, these are almost where you can add a little bit here or there and, and uh, on either side, and you can use them for document journals too, which I'm like, oh, that could be very cool. I mean, just look at this stuff. So creative, so creative. There's a lot of fussy cutting that you can do. And look what I just, I just purchased this at Hobby Lobby today. It's curved. Technically, this is for fabric. I'm going to try it on my little fussy cutting a little bit. If it goes great for the paper, then I'm going to have to get another pair for my fabric because you just don't mix you just don't mix fabric and paper scissors. It's a bad, bad idea. <laughs> Trust me on that, my dears. But uh, this was half price. This week there, all of the Fisker stuff is half price at uh, Hobby Lobby. If you've got one of those close to you. And their fabrics are all 40% off. Fall, Christmas, everything else, 40% off. So that's a good deal too. All right. Look at this stuff. This stuff stuff i mean that's it that's kind of like a oh stuff but this is stuff <laughs> this is good stuff all right amazing yes 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 so let me show you then she has a, a that was the collage sheets and the background sheets and then she also has um ephemera sheets and we've got little tuck spots going. So we've got these. Well, could be like this. I, yeah. Well, whatever. However you want to do it. 
you know, it's up to you. You do it. However, you, you do you. <laughs> but you've got two gorgeous, and then you've got two more little triangles, gorgeous. And then you've got two, <coughs> excuse me, that have the tabs on the back so that you can make them a little puffier, which are also fabulous. So you've got like six pockets here or tuck spots. And then, and then she said, look, you've got an amazing envelope. Oh, love this so much. You've got two coin envelopes. Aren't those just uh, gorgeousness? Yes. And then, <laughs> and we're not done. We're not even close to being done, my dears. You've got tags. I mean, you've got tags. Now, I printed the tag sheet out twice. So you'll see some of these double. I'm just doing it real fast. So you just get an idea because we want to play, want to play together. We got to do a page or at least get going on something here. Tags. Wonderful. And, and you ask, is there more? Oh, why, yes, I'm glad you asked. Look at this. You guys, I'm just blown away by the fabulousness of these tags. Just little spots of deliciousness. Now this was from, actually, this I took from one of the collage sheets and I fussy cut out a little bit and made a, a corner, you know, to be a pocket or a tuck spot. So there's so many things that you can do, that you can do. And I have already on this one, I have not been uh, edging with the inking around my pages very much. And this set I did because it just falls into the fall flavor and to the gorgeousness of this whole um, set. And I wanted to do that. So I have gone ahead and done that. I've cut them all out so that we're ready to go to embellish. Now look at these gorgeous, fun things to add. I guess suppose we could turn them right side up. <laughs> I suppose. Anyway, see, you guys, we just, you know, here we go. Here we go. You get the idea. This is a fun, fun set. Thank you, Barbara, for creating such a gorgeous set. I have fussy cut, <clears throat> excuse me, stupid froggy throat. That just seems to be standard procedure anymore when I try to do a video. I do apologize. Um, just little things that I've been cutting out. And I happened to come across in one of my, it's actually a glue book that I've been using. I'll slide it over here so you can see it. This is an old farm book wonderful vintage pages well it just so happened that it had some wheat some hand-drawn you know black and white images of wheat and it's that the paper is aged so I cut out a bunch of those to use as well because wheat and harvest they go together okay so let me put those out of the way a little bit now let me show you what I have done ahead of time. I know, I know, I love you and I want to do a journal with you from start to finish, but they take so long. I'm so slow <laughs> that you just get so bored <laughs> so fast. But let me go through the sheets that I have created already and then we'll maybe be able to do a page or at least get started on something fun. So, this is just love and the gorgeousness. And I have added fabric. I've sewn two pages together. And as you can see, I have collaged. This was a background page. And I collaged. This is additional. Now this, I will tell you throughout, I'm using a couple of, these are tailor-made journals. She has some, I think it's French documents, 
some small little bits and pieces that were on my desk and they just kind of fit. But for the for the most part, and I'll put the link to her her uh, shop as well. But I'm highlighting Barbara's uh, digitals on this, but um, Lorna's come in handy there too. So you can see these are all fussy cut out that I have added to this background page. I mean, you can doll these papers up as much as you want. This is all added. See, here's one of my wheat cutouts that I did. And then I did the page like I do. It's kind of my signature um, for book pages that you can turn into writing pages where I do my stitching around. Um, this one I have uh, printed on um, transparent paper. So it's lighter than it would be normally, which is kind of fun. Okay, there's one. Another tag. Oh, oh, wait, got to show you. Okay, you see the gold, the gold. Barbara, you got me on the gold, sweetie. <laughs> I'm loving it, girlfriend. So I had to add that so you will see gold splatters throughout that are just amazing so i've added a little bit of fabric there this is three little uh ephemera pieces that i cut out put them together to create a little tuck spot isn't that fun and then this was printed on Again, the uh, trans, uh, transparent paper. You could do it on vellum, although vellum is a little harder. I would, I would do it on tracing. I would do it on the tracing paper, really, or on deli paper, if you can get a hold of some of that. Now look at this. Isn't that great? These just fit so perfectly. It was like, oh my gosh, I have to use these they add to it but this is all printed on the tracing paper with the dictionary page behind it so and this one it wasn't quite long enough or, or wide enough my printer on the tracing paper it like cut off a quarter of an inch of printing and so i had to be creative and so I just added an old vintage um, piece and glued that on. And then you've got the stitching around. And there again are the gold speckles. Yay, gold speckles. So there's that one. Moving along. Okay, so here we go. This one was tricky. Let me find it. Let me find it, my dears. Which... If Barbara were to do a document style journal, and this would be so perfect for that. This is a bit longer, and so it's taller than what will fit in a normal, you know. I mean, you certainly can fussy cut. These could be two separate beautiful images, right? So I'm not trying to take away from any of that. And you could certainly put cut this off and put another bouquet in there that fits so that you know it does fit and you've got all these other wonderful fussy cuts that you can use too so what i did to make this fit onto the size paper which is normally like an eight and a half by by five uh five and a half or a little less um so you can use a nine inch by 12 inch cover for the journal which is kind of standard in what we do so i cut down this uh bottle a little bit you can see a little bit and then i fussy cut this down smaller so it would fit and i absolutely i love it love 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 it and here again now this is background paper that i took off you showed i showed you that first page well, I used some of the lovely background paper 
for this, and then this was tailor-made. This was one of hers. Added this image, and I used fabric. I connected these two together and had to add paper on both sides to make it wide enough, right? Because when I folded the paper, it was this size, more of the travel size or the document size. And so I added on both sides. And then what I did on this one, I put this piece of fabric, just some nice cotton fabric that I ripped, did a strip down there, and then added these other pieces. And then we have um, put the gold, put the gold. Here is another collage sheet that was just, you know, I just used part of it as its own thing because it's so gorgeous. And then you can see where the papers come together a little bit better on this one. And then I added a bit of um, trim uh, just, just cause I think it's pretty. <laughs> I think it's pretty. And then this was printed on tracing paper, friends. So it's got the light, the lightness. It's not heavy, heavy, which is wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. I mean, I'm loving these so much. Okay. Here's another one. We have taken images and put them together. Here's another wheat that I had. Here is from the collage sheet. This is another butterfly that has been fussy cut. This I took from some of Barbara's other digitals that she has the writings. I used this set and I also used the black, white, on black and here again is the wheat and we've got fussy cut here fussy cut here fussy cut here and here to add to the fun oh you know what I haven't gold I haven't uh, added the the gold splotches yet but I will <laughs> I absolutely will I want to have it here either <gasps> oh my goodness the whole thing okay so then here I added cheesecloth to just soften this up so it just didn't look like her head is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like someone just cut her head off. That's not very fun. <laughs> so I did that. And then this I backed onto just a nice um, coffee dyed, just a, a nice quality of coffee paper. I didn't do it myself. I bought it on Etsy and they're available easily. Fussy cut image and another one of my wheat images. So fun writing space. Oh, you guys, this, I've just, oh, I've just been loving it so much. Okay. Another Lorna Taylor little ditty here. Here, this is some of my own fabric. I believe I have this in my shop. I was playing around one day and did uh, some fabric painting. And uh, anyway, so that's that's what this is. It's a handkerchief. You can see the edges where the handkerchief comes. So I added that. And this is deli paper that I added on top of a book page. This is an old vintage book page. And I stencil, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if I could speak, I would say I stenciled on the background between the two a little bit. A lot of um, fussy cutting and just adding elements here and there. And that's part of the fun with this particular set. Barbara has included so many delicious things to work with this time it's just like oh my word you, i just if you if you get the set you will understand completely what i'm talking about look how gorgeous the images and the fussy cuts and whatnot just just loving it and this too i haven't uh, done my gold splatters but i will 
Here, this is done on tracing paper. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. And then on the back, this was my book page, my vintage. Actually, it's antique. This is antique paper. And I added another piece from the collage, just the whole, I just ripped it this time to give that, just give a fun, free edging. And then you can see the book page and then I stenciled here as well. This too has to be gold splattered, but yeah. Okay, continuing on, we've got just a couple more to show you. Here again, this particular one, it's the whole, I just took the whole sheet, the collage sheet, and just made it the size that I wanted for my book here, or, you know, my journal page. And this, it doesn't need anything except gold splatters. <laughs> and then on the inside on this one, I backed it with the coffee dyed um, copy paper. And I have another one of my wheat images. Uh, this was so, I don't know, you can type in wheat or something. If It was just a really fun addition. And I don't know that you actually need it. If you've got something handy, sure. But to try to, there's so much that you've got to work with just within the things that Barbara includes for you. So you really don't need it. It was just sitting there on my desk. <laughs> and then here from one of the extra pieces that I ripped off of a collage page, then I made a tuck spot and added a piece of fabric to help hold it in, let's grab, just for fun, let's grab a tag. And I backed all my tags too, with just regular copy paper or old vintage book page, um, because I didn't want them to be heavy, heavy. These, these are pliable, but they're sturdy. So you can easily slip this in. You can put more than one thing, I probably will for, you know, when I put this in my shop. But this gives it extra stability so that it's not going to flop around and fall out. So I thought that was kind of a fun thing to do. Um, and then here on the back is another collaged page. Um, let's see. This is Lorna's, this piece here. But everything else, this is all Barbara. This is all her collage sheets and I thought it was really fun as I was tearing and cutting and ripping and you know playing with it all that I did ink around and I used vintage photo that's my favorite to ink around um and I'm not like I said I don't always ink anymore but this set kind of said ink me ink me please <laughs> and I'm like okay fine I will <clears throat> So here's some more of the, um, oh, I just, cheesecloth, cheesecloth. And this one, what I did was I took two different images. I did, let's see if I can find it for you in case you want to reproduce. I was just going to show you. Let's just come across. Oh, as I go through these, I'm just like, oh, so part of me just wants to just sit and stare at it all because it's just so pretty. Um, whoa, whoa, what the heck? Where did, where did it go? Did I not print them all? Did I miss them? Holler, holler, holler when you see it. Because obviously my eyesight's going bad or I didn't quite catch something. Well, well, <laughs> well, maybe I left a page. Maybe I didn't print every page out. I may not have done that. Okay. Well, you'll know when you go in 
Um, but these did actually come from, <laughs> these came from the set. Just know they did. This was from, this was one that I cut off the flowers that were with it. Maybe it was too tall. And then I added an, another bouquet uh, in it. So anyway, but you get the idea. More cheesecloth, lots of layering. Love to add the fabric. Love to add the additional, the stitching. Um, lots of fun. Okay, <clears throat> here's the last one. Excuse me, let me take a drink. And let me clear my throat again. <clears throat> Okay, thank you. Here we have one more wheat image, old book page, vintage, actually antique. That's in the 1600 papers. Uh, this is from Barbara's butterfly kit, uh, which is another, and of course I'll have that linked for you. And this is a collage sheet, just so gorgeous. Another little cutout. And here's uh, my last wheat image that I think I have used. And then this is the whole, most of the page that I just thought was gorgeous. Just put it on. It just needs gold splatters. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So I have, and then in addition, I had um, taken two pages. This is a ceramics from a ceramics book. Um, just an old vintage book. And this is a, a vintage um, paper book page that I've trimmed to the right size. And this one has been coffee dyed a little bit with a doily. I'm not great at that kind of thing. I, I enjoy what I do, but I also love to purchase from those that you know, that they do it better than I do. So let's let's count and see what we've got. I think for this one, I want to do just a one signature, one fat, <laughs> fat, honking, delicious one. And I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it because I want somebody to be able to love it and enjoy it with the fall and, you know, be able to add this year, get it started and maybe work in it another year or keep it as their fall or or whatever. I mean, it doesn't have to be fall. It's just a gorgeous journal. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to take the tag out for now. Seven. Seven decorated pages um, with Barbara's delicious goodies and images. And I want, I know Gail always, well, <laughs> she, she plans for 15 or 16, but sometimes it expands. It depends. Um, and I know that's kind of that standard. I sometimes like to do 10 because of all the fat and stuff, but but let's just kind of see where we go. So we got seven, eight, nine. Um, and on these pages, I think we probably need to get a real, I bought those 1600 pages from Rachel. So I think I need to get some out to use. Um, I'm over here pilfering. I'm pilfering through my papers. Let's see. I want, well, I want a wide one that's gonna, it's hard to use these, you guys, in all honesty, because I don't come across these. And I know, you know, um, Most of us, I would say probably many of us, don't uh, come across this much wonderful <laughs> old book page like Rachel is able to do. 
where she lives and she has established relationships at, you know with many years and and uh has people that she buys from and has been so generous to share with all of us when she comes across these things so i want to do something with one of these uh let's not take the time today to get that into the right order or the right size let's hang on just one sec i'm in the room i'm in the room definitely want to bring in a bag or two and for those of you that are new to my channel and aren't familiar I do carry a variety of sizes in my Etsy shop on glassine bags that are wonderful to use in our art and for those of you that aren't familiar glassine is wonderful to work with these bags are wonderful but when you tea dye them or coffee dye them or whatever color of dye you're putting on them they do have a tendency to curl a little bit and where they have been seamed together that flips up and so i just put a little bit of glue to put that back down before i coffee dyed i cut off my bottom edge and I cut off the top edge and I am going to put a little notch but I want to make sure that I add a little bit of strength from a piece of random paper well I just haven't done anything yet with these. I thought about coffee dyeing these. These are actually ripoffs, you guys, from from my um, my Etsy tags because I don't buy labels. I just print it on the paper and then I rip rip it to the right size and then I have extra. And I'm just I'm you know it's like oh you don't want to cut that, throw that away. So. But sometimes it's good to put another piece down to help your cut. So I am going to do this. I'm going to reach in now, trying to kind of eyeball it in the center here a little bit. Here we go. Clicky, clicky. And there we have our notches. So that'll be ready. That'll be a fun addition to go in there. So, um, and we could do, wow, we could fold this up and make this like a cool for pockets. Yeah, that'll be good. I said I wasn't going to do this. <laughs> I'm not going to do this. No, I mean it for sure. <laughs> eight and a half so let's go well how by the time I trim the ends you know the outside edges on these it's about eight and a quarter um that's kind of the standard but I'm going to make my cover nine inches so it wouldn't hurt I'm going to at least start this one out at eight and a half now I may, okay, you can't see that. Let me get this over here where you can see this. I'm using the grids on my uh, mat board and eight and a half, so 20, so that'd be, eight and a half would be like right here. Folding it at this line. Ah, oh, this paper is so, oh my gosh, this is wonderful. Now, what we have to decide, if I cut it this way, 
then what I can do is I can get my width the way I want. And then I'll have, you know, just a long piece to work with something else. Or I can do one page, fold it in half. Let's see how wide that would be. That would be one, two, three, four and a half. So we'd want to add, you know, something on both sides or one side because we could fold it to where one side is the right width and the other side we add to it. You know what? I think that's, I think that's what we're going to do here. And let me get my tear ruler. These, um, and this is rag paper. This is absolutely rag paper. Now this may be in the 1700s. The holy paper that I bought is the 1600s, but these I had purchased earlier, maybe a year or so ago. And oh, these, I mean, the feel, they just, they feel amazing, you guys. Just amazing. So if you have the opportunity to come across these, I mean, do it, get it, you know, don't hesitate. Okay, so, all right, which side do we want to be the front? It doesn't matter because they're absolutely amazing either way. And I'm going to fold in. Well, I want to fold the edges in to be able to add strength. So I want to do that. And we'll do that on this side as well. So you guys, what have you been up to? I'm sorry, I've just been just getting into it and just like, oh, let's do this and this and this and so excited about it that I haven't bothered to to ask you what is going on. I love to hear what's happening in your world. I absolutely do. And I will say there are a few of you out there that I have not heard from in some time. Um, Stephanie, Debbie V, I miss you, girlfriends. I hope everything is okay in your world. I worry when I don't hear anything. I, I worry that, you know, there may be health issues or heartache issues. And, oh, golly, I just love you guys. And just, and those of you that are new, I just am so grateful for your subscription. I, I know technically I have terminal cancer. <laughs> That's what the doctor says anyway. Eventually it's going to get me. But I like to say, but not today. <laughs> I am hoping and planning and praying for many years to come. You know, the Lord willing, we'll see. We'll see how that goes, but anyway. So that will give it extra strength. And I think let's just go ahead, since we're folding, let's just do that all the way around. And I, you know, and I, I hope this is okay if I'm preparing this with you. I just, I was going to just get all these papers and stuff together, but the reality is, I, I'm going to have to go do some digging. <laughs> and I think you would rather have me here visiting than hollering from a distance and you're just watching my map board. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, dear. Let's see. No, I want to... Let's see. Which is going to be the right side? Okay. So, this is what we have to do, do, do. Well, you know what? It's going to cover up on one side regardless. 
Oh, did I tell you guys? I may have told you this already, but it still breaks my heart. A few years ago, and I was, I was on Et Etsy and I was on YouTube, but I had just, I had been junk journaling for not too long a period of time. But I had not discovered at that time the joy of super old books. Um, I was beginning to, you know, see the um, the value, you know, in different papers and, and that type of thing. But we went to an antique store. This was before COVID, guys. Um, do I want to cut that off and bring it back the right way? I think I do, don't I? Then I won't have to worry about, because I don't want to cover it all up. Anyway, we went, we were in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, okay, that doesn't, <laughs> it's strong. It's sturdy. Once you do that to it, it's sturdy. What can I do? Oh, well, maybe I didn't. Change rulers. If I'm cutting, I really should use the proper tool. Um, okay, so we're going to do it that way. And then we'll do it this way so that it's right side up. Okay, so I went into this antique store and they had a room full of old books and they were I mean they were amazing they were amazing and I just I kind of got lost in there and had I and I don't think that I had discovered Rachel's channel yet either uh, Roxy Creations because she has taught me uh, I I consider whatever little tiny bit of knowledge that I have regarding um, books and and uh, papers and stuff like that with old old books. I give her all the credit because I've watched consistently. <laughs> um, but anyway, I could just kick myself. Because I, I I bought two books and I was more focused on the price, you know, and so and I I enjoy the books that I bought, but there were books that I passed up that oh geez Louise, I could just kick myself. And then after COVID, that bookstore went out of business, or that antique mall went out of business, and um, all those books that I could have purchased and could have shared with you guys, you know, some of them, it just, it didn't happen, and, and I honestly, I mourn. <laughs> <laughs> that I was so stupid <laughs> and that I didn't see or appreciate that I was like, oh, but that's so expensive. And yeah, it was so expensive, but but for the what you were getting, you know, not so much. Okay, so enough of that. Okay, so we've got some things, some options to play with on this. I'm thinking that with this, I will go ahead and do it this way, and we'll add, you know, I'll kind of build that out. Um, mom, 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 what did I do with my papers? What did I do? What did I do? Ooh, ooh. Okay, so that'll bring in some deliciousness. I think another paper bag or another funky 
something that way. We've got one, two, we've got about 10. Now we'll do just a few more. I'll gather a few more and we'll put this in order and decorate and make a cover for it. How's that? <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. I uh, took longer than I meant to, but I just, I just had to share with you this. Oh, I'm just so loving this. So anyway, we put that right there so you can see that. Um, go check out Barbara's shop and get started on your own journal. Let's just do this. And, um, and I would love to see what you create too. That would be wonderful. I love you guys. Um, just a reminder for those of you that maybe don't know, I'm going camping. <laughs> we're, we're going, we're going Wednesday. This is Monday for me. We're going Wednesday and I'll be back Friday. And so I'll let you know how it goes. And if, and I'll probably, if I can, I'll post on my Instagram, maybe some pics of the, the campground or whatnot, but Anyway, love you so much. Have a fabulous day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye now.